Welcome back to my channel. It's gonna be short and sweet. This is John Wick 4 review movie. Spoilers ahead, so make sure you like and subscribe. And this is your fault if you get mad. Okay. For starters, John Wick 4 may be my favourite John Wick movie. Because Yes, there's a lot of action sequences, everyone has that. There's a lot of uh, storytelling, and most importantly, the cast. Okay? So, what do you mean? The cast? What about the cast? What do you mean? Ladies and gentlemen, the villain was Bill Scarhead. Maybe pronounce it incorrectly, but basically, the who played Pennywise is basically the guy who played Pennywise. He was a great villain, and obviously, rest in peace, Lane Throat, Rhetoric has passed away a few days ago, and in memory of him, it said in memory of Lance Rhetoric. In the opening twenty minutes, uh, Majesty de Gra uh, it's a French name. I can't pronounce it. Killed him. Basically, Bill killed Lance to write him off the movie due to his death. There was a part of. Uh, the hotel in Japan, which was good. Thunder Hiroki was the main uh, the owner, the big uh, antagonist, Jong's friend. Uh, they also brought in other Japanese people, but if you don't know who he is, he's basically in the first John Wick, I believe. Yeah, so he was basically John in the first John Wick as a little cameo, and then this had a big role. He obviously. Uh, Quarter of it, maybe almost half of it. No, not just literally a quarter of it. He was in it protecting him. First action sequence he is uh, Japan versus Rome, French, African, French, and then it was a huge fight swords, uh, Thrakitanas, and Shurikens, and uh, Work, brain, work. Nunchucks. We used best fighting or in brain arrows. Uh, was a great thing. All right, great action sequence. And during this whole movie, it was basically John Wick versus everybody. Okay, Donnie Yen, who is known for uh, IP man, is a uh, Chinese actor who was also in John Wick 1 as a little like villain, little, little cameo. Um, anyway, he was so funny. Okay, he reminded me of uh, Mr. Leslie Chow from Hanover with his style, what he wears. And how he print like acts it. so he's blind in a movie and he's just boom, boom, just taking everybody out. It was amazing. And he had a lot of comedy. Yeah, for a drama movie with comedy that hit the spot. Really, really hit the spot. Uh there was um doesn't show him. 
Oh, there he is, Trekker. Or aka Mr. Nobody. Yes, we say Mr. Nobody does a movie and he's white. Oh, well, he is known for Mr. as Mr. Nobody or Trekker in the movie. He uh, showed a lot of uh, good action, you know? Good action with the dog. So him, the tracker, and uh, Mr. Nope, and Kane, aka the blind man, were hired to kill John Wick, but for two different reasons. For tracker, it was for money. And for Kane, it was because the backer was basically the daughter didn't know it, but Kane said that uh, he knows, blah, blah, blah. He, had to do what he says or the bad guy kills the daughter. You know, normal stuff in movies. But at the end, when John Wick killed everyone, and especially the, uh, the stairs thing in America, but there's some places are based in New York, and oh god damn, that fight scene was amazing. Getting beam up, falling down the stairs, fighting together with a like, friend in the movie, or frenemies, I should say. Anyway. Great combination of uh, those two attacking everyone, and the best part was at the end when they did the job. So basically, through this whole thing, they had to. They kind of were helping each other, but they also had to first each other, kill each other, that type of you know normal stuff. And at the end, it was the old school jewel with the jewel pistols, thirty steps, turn around, shoot. And if they don't go dead, take 20 steps forward, 20 steps, and 10, and so on. And at the last minute, he can shoots him, shoots strong, boom, right in the chest. But John didn't shoot. And when Bill was going to shoot him, saying, I win, you know, evil stuff, boom, headshot, fall back. John Wick walks down the stairs, looks up, says, Helen, and collapse to the side. Then it cuts to the ending with uh Bell King and Winston and they just look at John Wick's grave. Sad stuff. But it was the first time ever John Wick had an end credits thing. I waited ten minutes through the end credits and well it's the J Japanese uh daughter Aki who is a actually Japanese uh, songwriter? She she sees uh, King walking towards the door. Was like it looks Japanese, and it's her with anger, but in a switchblade walking towards him, and turns back. So I'm not one hundred percent sure if it is going to have a fist. I'm not 100% sure, but it had a cliffhanger where maybe it might be a spin-off or uh, something like that, but in all fairness, it was a very great movie, okay? Um... So it was known that John Wick 4, back in August 2020, that John Wick 4 uh, is going back to back in John Wick 4 and John Wick 5. Um, but we don't actually know what it will be actually about. Because John Wick 5, 4 showed John Wick dead. It, it, yeah, it showed him dead. Because they showed the grave. But. During the entire movie, it basically showed him getting, when he gets shot, he gets like a little bit injured, a little bit weakening, a little bit, a little bit slower. And, well, fair enough, he is, what, 58? And he started John Wick franchise when he was 50? I.
what we will define as Dragon Fight that happens, but if you like this uh, review and want, to, want me to do more movie reviews, please drop the comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be doing my ranking very, very soon. Peace out.